Greetings Asian and Pacific Islander American Fund Scholars, Gates Millennium Fund Scholars, and alumni. I'd like to welcome you all to the Asian and Pacific Islander American Leadership Skills Spotlight. My name is Penny Smyatt and I serve as a Director of Life Skills at the Division I Athletics Institute. Today, I want to talk to you about mobilizing others. Part of our Leadership Skills Workshops will hit on specific topics that will help you enhance your leadership skills as you grow, both in your collegiate careers as well as in your professional career. I'd like to remind you that as we discuss today's topic, I want you to keep in mind that there are various styles, various definitions that you can utilize to help in mobilizing others, but what I'll be talking about is something that I learned specifically in my own skill sets, in my own profession, that has helped me enhance my skills. So with that being said, let's begin. Mobilizing others. Before we can actually fully mobilize others, there are a few steps or processes that we need to understand fully. First, have a vision. A vision is the overall picture. What, what is the scope of your accomplishments? What do you want to accomplish? For example, in a specific program that I oversee, we have a vision and a mission to help prepare our student athletes for success while they're in college and for success for life after college. That's our vision or our mission. You want to solidify that before you approach anyone else so that you have something to advertise or to market to them. Second, recruit the right people. There's all types of marketing schemes and, and uh, ventures and advertisements that you see. The reason being is because there's a target audience. That's where your vision comes into play. As a vision, that's your tool to help recruit the right people. Now when I say the right people, typically you want to think about people who will benefit or have a stake in your vision or others that have like-minded scenarios or are interested in what your vision are. Third, empowerment. This is a really big part of what we want to accomplish. You want to be able to empower those individuals that you recruited to enhance the overall process of what you want to accomplish. So for example, empowering. How do you empower others? Well first, identify in others some of their strengths. By identifying their strengths, you can then match their strengths with specific tasks. In those tasks, you will see that they're empowered in uh, taking control of that situation, giving them a feel that they belong, a necessity within them. It's very important that you empower them because that gives them ownership into your mission. Fourth, what you want to do is once you empower the individuals or those that you want to mobilize, start by looking at your goal. SMART is an acronym that stands for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and time. Remember that acronym, go back to our last session to get a little bit more in depth with it, but take your group and you want to start to look at SMART goals. Again, this will empower the group and give them ownership into what you want to accomplish. And last but not least, five, your action plan. Mobilizing others takes an action. You have to provide them with an action plan in order to mobilize. You as a group can sit down, work on this after you set your goals, and then again, match your the individual strengths with specific tasks, specific assignments. You'll just go through and empower them on those specific tasks, and you'll be able to accomplish the goals at hand. So, just a quick review. One, have a vision. Two, recruit the right people. Three, empowerment, giving others ownership, allowing them to utilize their strengths. Four, smart, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time. Goals. And the last step, an action plan. I'd like to thank you for joining us here in the Asian and Pacific Islander American Leadership Skills Spotlight. My name is Penny Samaya, and I wish you all nothing but great success as you move forward in mobilizing others. Take care.